Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we are going to be doing a little tutorial on how you can populate your scene in Unreal Engine 4. Now, there's plenty of ways on how to do this. Uh, you can get yourself a crowd plugin or a crowd system, but that could get really expensive. Uh, you can also do this manually, but you know me, I'm just too lazy. So there's got to be somewhere in between, you know, that you can just get cheaper and it's not as hard so uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today so we are in 4.26 and then here's the scene we have so you can see we have one character there and another character here but we need more people in this scene to make it look like or seem like you know a cyberpunk ish kind of environment uh, we have a car and all that stuff but that's all we have but I really want to just jam pack the scene with people you know just to kind of sell it a little bit so so the first thing we're gonna do is actually go to our epic uh marketplace all right so let me go ahead and show you what we're gonna be getting so if you go to my library here you're gonna see if i go to cyber right here oh no it's actually sci-fi so here i have this sci-fi unit female because a it's really cheap and you get uh, like 10 characters different characters in there so right away i can get 10 people in my scene for you know really decent price um but the only problem is it's only supported to unreal engine 4.25 but it's okay what i'm gonna do is i created a 4.25 project right here and we're just gonna go ahead and import it here first and then we're going to transfer it now you can also copy and paste this in your uh, folder explorer but we'll just do it this way because i uh, usually like to do it this way just in case i mess something up so it's easier to migrate it here so i'm going to go ahead and look for that um project it's sci-fi g i'm going to add it to that project which that project is open right here and you can already see it it's right here so let's see if it's done it's not done yet okay so it just finished so what you want to do is right click this and we're going to go to uh migrate and then press ok and then we're going to go find that project that we were working on that i had open so it's cyber tut should be so it's going to be the copy right here and it's the content folder and i'm going to go ahead and paste that there and it's going to copy all the files from this some content cannot be copied uh, some files were copied successfully so i'm gonna go ahead and close this and now you should see that sci-fi unit female which is already here okay so here are are the meshes that we have different ones and what's nice about this pack is it actually comes with some animation so you know you can you have some basic animations in there so it's kind of nice all right so if we go ahead and drop one of these guys' animations in there. Let's do like a jog. And if I press play, you can kind of see that it's just jumping in place, right? Now, I mean, if you know a better way on how to do this, an easier way, please do let me know. It's just the problem is whenever you press play, this person or this actor is just creating an uh it's pretty much just doing an animation asset but it's actually not moving forward okay so you can just do it this way now if you have something static say just standing you can do it that way i have that person just standing there and i have this person doing some action right there you know nailing some wood down or whatever you can do that with static stuff but if you're trying to move characters, you know, to add some depth to your scene, then here's what I kind of found out. All right, so going back to the marketplace, if I were to search waypoint here, you're gonna see this thing called Spline Waypoint System V1. For $5, this thing can set some waypoints for you whenever you press play, and it's so freaking easy to use. So I already have this in that project and it's supported 4.26. It's about five bucks. So I don't have to copy and paste this because we already have that in the project here. And I'm going to show you it right now. It's spline. So it's the spline waypoint system V1. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the spline waypoint system V1. I'm going to go to the mannequin and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this here. This comes with the 
uh, package for $4, $5. And then what I'm going to do is since these are all retargeted to the UE4 mannequin, it's so much easier. All right. So I'm going to click the mannequin and I'm going to change the mesh type SC. And I'm going to grab one of these female version ones from the sci-fi pack that we had. Okay. And then the, under the animation, instead of just making it an asset, we're going to change it to blueprint. And then we're going to change this to third person animation BP3. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at what that animation BP3 is. So if I go to the sci-fi animation. So again, one of the reasons why this is such a good package is because it comes with some animations built in. Although if you look at this, this is pretty standard from the third person, but it's already rigged to this character, which is really nice. Okay. So we're going to go to that third person anim BP3. All right. So we're going to go from content, sci-fi unit, animations. We're going to look at that BP3 right here. Double click that. I'm going to make this bigger. And then what we're going to do is click on the animation graph. And after that, we're going to click on the default. And this is the blend space for this character. Pretty much, you go from idle to run. You can jump, loop, jump in, and then go back to idle to run. You just got to click on this one because I just want to see the movement. I don't want this person to jump around. So double click that. And right here, we're going to double click. And it's going to take you to the actual animation for this individual. If you press shift, starting from zero to 375, because that's what it's set up right here. Okay. I'm going to press shift and I'm going to go from left. I'm going to go to right. Now you're going to see that it's going to go to walk and then it's going to go to run. That is very important. You definitely want this for this to work. You want an actual animation walk or run already set up in an animation blueprint. And that is why we are using this pack because it works pretty much straight out of the box. And everything else is pretty easy after that. We're going to use the spline waypoint system again. We're going to go to blueprints and we're going to click on easy follow target child. I'm going to drag and drop that to my field and press G so you can see all the text. And I'm going to delete this one. Right, so right here is what we need. We're gonna click this reference and we're gonna point it to the character. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some spline. And what you're seeing right now is we're actually telling this person to move forward. Now, when he gets to here, I want him to kind of move a little bit and we're gonna add another one so technically you are actually creating waypoints for this individual and then spline 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 all the way over there okay and then another thing that you got to make sure you have is a nav mesh okay like a volume because if not i don't think this is going to work so we have a nav mesh volume around our scene and to create that you just go right here type nav mesh you drag it here and as you can see it's small but you just scale it so if you look up you look at my nav mesh it's actually scaled 30 so it covers the entire scene pretty much okay so after that's done all you have to do now is go to this wave point easy target child set the loop and then when you press play now you have an individual walking and it's that easy and it's going to loop. So it's kind of like an NPC. How cool is that? Right? So now obviously I just got to populate this whole entire area with people walking around. Now, if you don't like the way that's animating or the way it's moving, you can go back to that blueprint and change that animation if you want. So BP3, I'm gonna go back to the animation graph, go back, go back, go back, and change this walk right here. But just make sure you make a copy of that blueprint.
because if not, it's gonna screw it up. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys, for this tutorial. Pretty simple, nice and sweet. But what we're gonna go over next is how to, as you can see here, she's kind of floating there. So what we're gonna do is, again, download a free plugin for Unreal Engine 4 that's called Power IK. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.